What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Dunkirk. Dunkirk is a historical drama film that was written and directed by Christopher Nolan and is based on true events that took place in 1940 during World War II. Dunkirk follows an ensemble cast of characters that all find themselves in the midst of a war. The Allied soldiers are surrounded by German forces that seek to not only keep them isolated to the French commune of Dunkirk, but to destroy them by any means possible. The soldiers on the beaches of Dunkirk find themselves desperately trying to stay alive by any means necessary, but they are aided by limited Air Force pilots in the sky and some civilians who attempt to help navigate the dangerous waters. And the rest of the film is spent watching our ensemble cast attempt to do their part, stay alive, and outlast the German forces that surround them from every direction. Okay, so Dunkirk was definitely a film that was on almost everyone's radar because it's a Christopher Nolan film. Nolan has become such a high profile director that any movie he creates finds itself on the front page of popular culture whenever it's released. I haven't seen every Nolan film, but I have seen the majority of them, especially the ones that have been released in the past 10 or so years and those films are definitely very different than what he took on with Dunkirk because Dunkirk is way less fantasy and way more brutal reality. I really love Dunkirk despite being a little nervous about it going in. I was nervous because Christopher Nolan has set the bar so high for himself that you come into one of his films expecting a damn near masterpiece and the trailers that I saw for Dunkirk never really wowed me. I mean I still would have seen it because I would have wanted to review it but without Nolan's name attached I don't think I would have been nearly as excited about this film going in. But I have to say that Dunkirk is not quite masterpiece level in my eyes, but it's damn close because it does a lot of things really, really well, and I think this is certainly one of Nolan's best films to date, and that's really saying something considering all of the fantastic ones he's directed thus far. Dunkirk is amazing in part because it's unique. It's honestly not going to be what you'd expect, and that's okay because all the elements in the film that are working in conjunction with one another are doing so at such a high level that the experience ends up amounting to something amazing. I went in with the expectation that we'd see an ensemble cast and that you'd really learn the stories of each of these characters and you'd connect with them as they attempt to survive the brutality of Dunkirk in World War II. But that's really not the case. Dunkirk is a movie that is fast paced, nonstop action, and is much more focused on depicting the brutality of war than it is developing and progressing an ensemble cast of characters. So what I'm saying is Dunkirk is amazing despite the fact that its characters are relatively underdeveloped. This film is so great at literally everything else that you can totally overlook the fact that the characters don't really develop all that much over the course of the story. I'm not going to say that I always love this approach for the entire film, but the thrilling, brutal, and excellent execution of the story itself really makes up for any perceived deficiencies in the character department. Dunkirk is legitimately non-stop action from the very get-go. This film is only an hour and 47 minutes long, and the whole movie is spent watching our ensemble cast of characters either fight, flee, or rescue. There is action and tension throughout the entire experience, and you never get much of a chance to catch your breath. It's just pedal to the metal from start to finish. And usually you need that recovery time to sort of catch your breath, but Dunkirk is so thrilling and so gripping that you can't help but get invested in these characters that you know very little about that find themselves in the middle of a brutal and unforgiving war. Something I do want to make clear, however, is that while this is a very violent film, it's rated PG-13 and isn't quite as violent and graphic as Saving Private Ryan or anything. There's no Omaha beach scene, and Dunkirk instead is a combination of high energy, suspense, and brutality over a number of different high stakes war scenes. Also from a visual standpoint, Dunkirk is exceptional. I think we're definitely looking at Dunkirk as a best cinematography nominee come Oscar season among other nominations. But man, the cinematography in this film is gorgeous, especially the aerial shots. No one and his crew have always had an eye for visual storytelling, but it's especially important in Dunkirk because this is a film that is very heavily told through visual storytelling more so than anything else. There's not really that many lines of dialogue in this entire film. It's really just chaos and anarchy and a desperate attempted survival for these characters, and they don't really ever stop to speak to each other that often because they're either swimming or running for their lives, or there's just nothing to say because they're so overwhelmed by the chaos that surrounds them. And because of this, there's a huge burden on the cinematography and visual experience as a whole to tell this story. The characters' stories are told through their experiences, and they don't slow down and communicate with one another to make sense of them. They're always on the run, and the visuals and the acting have to show the stakes and keep you invested that way. The acting is fantastic, by the way. There's a lot of really great actors that you know and some that you don't know in this movie, and they all do a really great job relaying so many complex emotions with so few actual lines of dialogue. Their facial expressions and their body language tell their story, and that's something that's very unique for a war film, but Dunkirk's fantastic cast pulls it off very well. But considering this is an ensemble cast, just be aware that you don't spend a ton of time with any one character. 
The movie is split up into three separate storylines that all follow different characters experiencing different disasters at or around Dunkirk. So you spend some time with Tom Hardy in the air, then some time with Mark Rylance and Killian Murphy on the water, and then some time with Fionn Whitehead and Harry Styles on the beaches, and things go back and forth quite a bit. Just be aware of that going in. The final elements of this film that I loved were the music and the sound. The music composed by Hans Zimmer is fantastically dark and brutal, and really enhances the frantic craziness that you see on screen quite a bit. It definitely falls in line with the greatness of his other work. The sound is also amazing. This is an extremely easy film to immerse yourself into because the sounds are so genuine and authentic. You feel the helplessness of the characters, and you can also feel the frantic nature of their survival efforts. And then you add in the sounds of war like the screams, the gunfire, and the planes, and it all adds up to an experience that is incredibly immersive. But overall, Dunkirk was a little bit different than what I expected, but I loved it nonetheless. I thought it had a brutal, fast-paced, and thrillingly tense story, some exceptional cinematography, beautiful music and sound work, and fantastic acting from an ensemble cast of characters. The only con I have for this film is that I wish the characters were just a little bit more developed. Regardless, I'm going to give Dunkirk a 9.5 out of 10, and definitely recommend you check this one out in theaters if you've enjoyed Christopher Nolan's past work, or you're just looking for an action-packed and well-told story. This is one you do not want to miss. So did you guys see Dunkirk yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know your favorite Christopher Nolan movie to date. Mine would be The Dark Knight. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next video.